He is known for his significant contributions to the field of molecular biology, particularly in the study of muscle physiology. He is recognized for his pioneering work in using electron microscopy to examine biological specimens. His name is Hugh Esme Huxley. In the realm of scientific discovery, one name stands out, Hugh Esme Huxley, a British molecular biologist who revolutionized our understanding of muscle physiology. Huxley's journey began at Christ's College, Cambridge, where he pursued a degree in physics. However, his education was put on hold during the Second World War, when he served in the Royal Air Force and made significant contributions to the development of radar, earning him an MBE. After the war, Huxley became the first PhD student at the Laboratory of Molecular Biology at Cambridge, where he focused on X-ray diffraction studies on muscle fibers. It was during this time that he became one of the pioneers in using electron microscopy to study biological specimens. In collaboration with fellow researcher Gene Hansen, Huxley made a groundbreaking discovery in the 1950s, unveiling the sliding filament theory, which explained the underlying principle of muscle movement. After years of dedicated research, Huxley proposed the swinging crossbridge hypothesis in 1969. This hypothesis provided a modern understanding of the molecular basis of muscle contraction and shed light on various cellular motility processes. Huxley's remarkable contributions led him to work at prestigious institutions such as University College London and the Laboratory of Molecular Biology, where he served as deputy director. Later, he became a professor at Brandeis University in Massachusetts, where he spent the rest of his life as an emeritus professor. Huxley's scientific journey continued after completing his PhD, focusing on the study of muscle structure and function. However, his work hit a roadblock as Cambridge lacked the necessary electron microscopy equipment for his research. Determined to overcome this obstacle, Huxley seized an opportunity to join the Massachusetts Institute of Technology as a postdoctoral fellow in 1952. At MIT, Huxley worked alongside F.O. Schmidt in his laboratory, and in 1953, he welcomed the collaboration of Gene Hansen. Together, they embarked on groundbreaking research, leading to the discovery of the sliding filament theory of muscle contraction. Their findings were published in the prestigious journal Nature on May 22, 1954, forever transforming the field of muscle physiology. Eager to continue his research, Huxley returned to the MRC unit of Cambridge in 1954. Armed with X-ray diffraction techniques, he delved deeper into the molecular interactions within muscle fibers. Despite the LMB, Laboratory of Molecular Biology, now having an electron microscope, technical challenges persisted. Recognizing Huxley's potential, the University College London offered him a faculty position, where he joined Bernard Katz's biophysics department in 1955. With support from the Wellcome Trust, Huxley acquired a new electron microscope, enabling him to make histological sections of unprecedented thinness, only 100 to 150A. This innovative contribution, combined with his X-ray diffraction images, allowed him to establish the concept of crossbridges, a crucial step in understanding muscle contraction. As the MRC unit expanded, Huxley was invited back in 1962, initially as a research fellow at King's College and later securing a more permanent position at Churchill College. In 1969, after over 15 years of dedicated work, Huxley formulated the swinging crossbridge hypothesis of muscle contraction, a landmark moment in his career. This hypothesis served as the molecular foundation for muscle contraction and had far-reaching implications for the understanding of cell motility in various contexts. Huxley's contributions earned him the position of Joint Head of the Structural Studies Division of the LMB in 1975, and he further cemented his role as the Deputy Director in 1979. Later, in 1987, Huxley joined the Biology Faculty at Brandeis University in Massachusetts. He also took on the role of Director of the Rosensteel Basic Medical Sciences Research Center until his retirement in 1997. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.